out, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, out, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Call crime, much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe on your home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crime, much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there, and the hunt jungle out there, and the hunt is on A jungle out there, and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down we're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds Call crime much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe on your home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crime much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on There's a jungle out there and the the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Call crime much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe on your home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crime much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's the a jungle out there and the hunt is on a jungle there and the hunt is on a jungle out there and the hunt is on we're gonna hunt you down we're gonna hunt you down we're gonna come we ain't playing it's the last thing on our minds Call crime much if you really really wanna stop crime be safe on your home be safe in the street it's a cold place and i'm really feeling the heat i never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence still crime much came and give tnt confidence i had a dream in the dark i had a dream in the spring i had a dream i had a dream and now what's up then what's up then this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch, we're back, top of the evening to all those of you who are locked online, a special good evening to you, all those of, me, all, all those of you who are looking at, 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 at Ian Allen from around the world, a special good evening to you, sometimes you have a holy bell in your hand, you have to hold it in your hand sometimes, you know what I mean, holy bell in your hand, yeah, 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 alright, it's a relatively rainy, it's a rainy, it's a rainy Thursday, rainy Thursday, a lot of preparation in place, a lot of for me members of the Hindu community are... Uh, you know, preparing for the wally, they're painting up, they're buying their tiles, they're going by classic tiles, they're going all over, buying paint, buying all this, buying everything. But, you know, it's an exciting time for them, and you always have to recognize that. I told our guy, and international tiles for the rugs and whatnot, international tiles have some excellent stuff. All your power tools, all, I think you can go to Total Tools, yeah? I tell you, real big guns advertise with us, you know, the ABC, ABC people and thing, and AG's Marketing Home Center, Home Improvement Center. And um, who again? Tomorrow is what? Aegis Marketing Sales starts tomorrow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So they already called me. I'm live there on, um, on, on, on Saturday. So we're going to open up the lines a little bit. Let me hear from you. What's going on with you? Are you good? Everything good with you? You're behaving yourself? You're making back and all? You know, I tell I lost a relative, yeah? I lost a relative. And it's something I want to do. But I can't tell you what I want to do. I want to, I want to help somebody. And also, as you can see, um, researcher, you got the ad for the, um, the, the, the app? Hmm. Yeah, we, we kind of do it over the app and you could, you know, to upgrade your app and whatnot, you could do it now. Now, I have persons working on it. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Right, so I'm sending it to you now. Just convert it. Because we had a meeting this morning with the, with the app people and them. So, you know, you can download your app and whatnot and look at Crime Watch. And I already take it to another level. Sometimes in life, you just have to take it to another level. You just have to take it to another level in your life. You just have to take it to another level. Yeah, and I'm telling you, something I want to do really good and I want to help somebody. You know, yesterday I bought a wheelchair for someone. And sometimes when you really check it in life, yeah, this is serious talk I'm telling you here, yeah, you must do good. Helen Bagwan Singh, the late Helen Bagwan Singh said something in that, in that video that she made and she said, you must give. 
Don't be stingy. Giving is power, yeah? Giving changes your life. Giving changes your life. Giving is an exchange. When you give, it's an exchange for prosperity. Always remember that. It's an exchange. It's like prosperity is here. Prosperity is here. Prosperity is here. And this is what you have to give. When you give, it's an exchange for prosperity. If, you do, if, you do, if you're not prospering in your life, then you're not giving. It's an exchange. It's an exchange. It is just amazing. It's amazing. I was telling somebody yesterday, I have, a, I, have, I have a guy doing some work for me. Boy, and that guy's a loser. He's just... You know, you have people just... You have to leave them. Yeah, he's painting and building some stuff for me. He does not come to work. He cries on his life. And I was telling somebody, I see his energy. Just his energy. Let him do whatever he has to do and leave because I don't like that kind of energy. And it's like, he's a nice lazy, nice lazy man thing. And sometimes you, you could hold, you could be, a, you, you, you could be your, your own, your, your worst enemy you now. Your worst enemy is not your mother, your father, or your, or your brother, you know. Sometimes your worst enemy is you. Yeah, your worst enemy is you. You are the enemy, the enemy in you. Yeah. If you could only change that, it would be a better, every, everything would be nice for you. Yeah. He cries on his life and things are working out, how things are coming in slow. But people are not going to give you work if, if you're not coming to work. People are not going to give, give you work if it's a Monday and I see you Thursday. Hi, call a good evening in your life and cry much. Hi, Ian. Hi, um, I just had a suggestion, right? What, what is that? You should call him for a pay phone by the police station or something? You all remember when it had those pay phones? Yeah, it had a pay phone by the police station. It had a pay phone opposite Sugar Arm, um, opposite. They still have that pay phone opposite Coover Police Station. They had two pay phones, remember those days? Two pay phones opposite Coover Police Station. They had one opposite, right by Sugar It had a, 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 um, it had a, a, pay, a pay phone there. It had one by Shakir. Where Royal Bank is, right? There's had a place called Officers Long Time, you know. A guy called Prem Ramhit, a very distinguished family, Reddy Ramhits, and um, Nanda and everybody. And um, Prem, you know, had a, a place called Officers, uh, right? Opposite. And I never, up to this day, I want to find out, and I want to find out this. I want to find out who was the owner of that chicken and chips place called Catty's. At, I swear to God, it is something I will never, 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 as long as I live, I will never forget it. A place called Catty's. It was on the... I remember my, I, 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 got, I, got, I got a cut in my foot. I had about eight or nine years, a terrible cut. And I had to walk with the crutches. I, I step on a bottle while playing. You know, old people, you know. And my grandmother took me to buy... A, a cereal by the name of honey and a cereal by the name of honey and oats or something. Yeah, honey and oats. This is serious talk. Yeah, honey and oats. A little box mark honey and oats. I'll never forget that. My grandmother, and that's the first time I think in my life I had cereal, a box of cereal. And while I woke out from that health center with her, I look across the I remember I say, cut. What's that word? Ma? Ma? She said, cut is. She said, you want a box of chicken and chips? I say, yeah, go eat a box. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know, she, well, people shake their heads off. Hmm. Come, there you go, come, come. You don't know the same people don't have no money, you know. Yeah, I tell her, yeah. <laughs> and she buy it, you know. Watch it. Hmm. You, you want ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> and I saw so good here. I have, I said, she said, wait till you go home and you go eat it. You sit down good and you eat it home. And she had the box and she go in, so she walk in. <laughs> okay. I have a box, you know. But Cutties, I, I never, I don't know, boy. I can remember the sign. It was a black and gold sign. Mark Cutties. Cutties chick. Right in Medford, right where Royal Bank is. Anybody? Anybody can tell me that? If it's ever get a hamper. Medford Plaza was, was, was the, and then it burned down. It was a mall. And then officers in the center of uh, Royal Bank is here in Shogunas. It had an escalator. That is the first time she's going to see escalator. Well, everybody up and down. Well, them tanty and them going up and coming down. Escalator. Watch me. 
Yeah, I want to, as I go up the escalator, officers right there. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, Mr. Ian Allen. How are you? What's happening? Great. What's going on? Well, I dear holding on with them. How things? Good, no complaints. Well, I heard you really speak about um, the ghost in you, and what you are saying is so true. Yeah, the ghost in you. Well, you're really supposed to get the ghost out of you, but you know, it have some people when they give them a job. Yeah, go you ahead. You know, they don't like to do the job expeditiously, and, and some people like to be lazy on a job. So these sorts of people need not to be hired. Yeah, it's so true. You know, so probably you need to, I need to come to see you so that I will be able to get that job that you are you speaking that good? about. You that good? If you're that good, send me a number now. Tell, I'm very number. good. If you're that good. Are you looking for somebody? Well, they have my number there. Take a number, take his number, please. You're looking for somebody. If you imagine you're getting a work, and I know after, comp upon completion, I will get my money. You think I stay home? You really think I stay home? You really think I'm coming for three days and then, then when I call, I say, yeah, I'll check it tomorrow to come finish your job and get my money? That's why people's attitude determines their altitude. You know what I mean? Attitude, how high you go? Either you're down or you're up. Yeah. People lazy. Their mindset. And sometimes you could pray and you're praying to God and you feel that there's no God. There's no God. But there's a God. There's a God. But God providing for you. But you don't want to do nothing. And sometimes God don't have to provide to you where he sent people in life to give you jobs. You know. Sometimes he gives you ideas. He gives you ideas. You get ideas that could blow, that could blow, that could blow your mind, that could blow your mind, that could blow other people's mind. Ideas, ideas, ideas. You might ask me, where you get this idea from? Where you got an idea to do this? Where you got this idea to do that? Where you got an idea to do that pop-up? Where you got an idea to do a live? Where you got an idea to have this play? Where you, where, where, where is this? Ideas. You see, when you sort of push yourself, you start going to go into a different level and you get ideas. That person I see working, they don't even have a tool, they don't even have a grinder, they don't have a pliers and like, what a jail boy. But you're what big work. You're what big work. You're what big work. Why do you think I could stand up here and tell you, watch me, anybody of the islands, Anybody of the islands who want me to come by the place and do a live or, or visit the company, I could do it. We have all the equipment ready here. I have, I have it. I remember when, when we created a CG bar and I asked them, I said, I was looking at CNN. I said, and I'm looking at Anderson Cooper, very distinguished journalist. He has a great show. I said, I like that CG bar. I called my engineer. I said, check that CG bar for me. Do the research. We locate the CG bar, the, 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 the software. I said, buy it. They say, what? I said, buy it. How much rate? I said, what? That price hot, boy. I said, that price a little hot, it hot, it hot, it hot. I said, but buy it. And you know what? It's all about going to the next level. Don't hold back yourself. By holding back, you get nothing. You just step out. Step out. When you start to get desperate, you start to print paper, you start to print flyers, you start to put your name here, you start to come and say, well, Ian Allen here, we're going to I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do it, I want to do this, I want to do that. You see, sometimes you have to change your mindset. Your mindset. As I was telling somebody today, today I, I did a, a nice... I get, today I assisted somebody in something. I can't tell you what it is. It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, but I did it to help somebody out. And that was like a next level in giving. <laughs> yeah, that was a next level. The person said, you know, what you previously had planned to give them, it's not that, it's a little more. And I'm on the phone listening. I say, okay, what you all do? I say, give it to them. He say, give it to them. I say, give it to them. And bam, psh, you take your life to a next level. Don't hold it back. Don't hold back yourself. Don't hold back yourself. That's why whoever could be in power, let me tell you something. That can work for you. Rowley could stay 100 years. But while Rowley stay 100 years, you yourself could be blessed by giving and God will open the windows of heaven. He will open the windows for you. Allah will bless you. You're Hindu. Hindu, well... You will be blessed also. 
It's an energy. It's a positive energy. I can tell anybody that. I don't cry down. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, caller. Hi, caller. Hi, caller. Well, cut them off. You know? And it's all about an energy. Don't hold back your life. If you have the oldest shoe, polish it up. You have the oldest suit. I have a photograph to send to you. I have a photograph to send to you. And you will bawl if I, if I send this photograph to you. You will scream. Cut off my arm. We can put my auntie in it. I wouldn't deny her. I wouldn't deny her. It's my auntie. But you know, she's shocking kind of a funny lady, but don't tell her. Don't say who it is, please. I don't think I recognize her. Right? Me, research I watch this photograph. You're going to laugh. Don't sh you can show my foot and everything. Yeah, look at it. Watch your boy. Watch your boy. Watch your boy. Enlarging it. <laughs> Everybody laughing. Hurry up. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. I think I was about seven or eight or nine. I just... What, 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 what chicken place? Put them on the phone. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah. yeah yes, I want to um, speak to Mr. Allen. This is Ian Allen speaking. Ah. Uh, oh. Um, no, but I am ITV down on that. Pardon me? Um, tell him that, that building that. This is Ian Allen speaking to you. This is Ian Allen speaking to you. Court day. Good when afternoon. the government will open up. Pardon me? That building that was being built on the northern side of the Shogunas Magistrate Court. Yeah. Ask him when they're going to open it. Let me tell you something, yeah? I don't understand, and that's a very good point he's making. You look at the, the, the condition of Shogunas Magistrate Court. You should see the condition inside the washrooms that the magistrate, it have molds all over, the paint, and you, send, you get a cover story of that. And ask yourself, wow, you come out, you, you have a building. Look, you have a building standing right next to the magistrate court. It was supposed to be a library. Fix it over, yet you, you, you the cut refurbish the building and move the magistrates there. Just today, pass and watch it, but look at the magistrate court. It's so small, you can't even change your mind in it. They don't think. And the caller is right. I know you say, you say, you say you talk, talk about the chicken thing to, to get on the show, but... Yeah, look, look, yeah, this is the cover of it. Yeah. The magistrate court is full of moles. Like, that fleas in that place. That place should shut down. That is not good to, to occupy. That place is not proper to occupy. The Shogunas magistrate. Move it. And you can't move it to Tunapuna. Because it affects us, but there is a great building next door. It have a building next door. It have a building next door. It have a yeah, but it have a building next door. The magistrate court. It have a great building next door. If you see this building next door, when you had gone to Tunapuna for how much money they could have done, but but they could go to Tuna, but watch me. It have a building next door. If you see the, if you see the, if you see the building next door, first class structure. They vandalize it. They take out everything. But we can use it back, they can fix it back, the structure is here. Clean it up, pressure, wash it, put in glass, do over the floor and fix it over. Spend like a, if you spend two million on that property next door, you're, you're in the game. Two million, two million, two, two point five and fix it back. I call a good evening. Two point five. Hey, you have the pit here, watch the pit here. Don't laugh. Hold on, come back to me. Don't laugh, eh? Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Do laugh, eh? Watch me. <laughs> watch your boy. <laughs> I'm my auntie, and watch your boy. Watch your boy. Look where I come from. Way boy. Way boy. Look at you on my head, boy. Way boy. Watch your boy. Well, nobody understands why I become so fear, but, uh, you know. 
<laughs> Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the road I used to play in. Well, this, we live right next door in a board house. This is my auntie. She's still alive. She's still alive. I can't tell you. The, the woman never tell me to give her name. Right? They're my mother's sister. This is the car. The other lady treated the back here. This is the road I grew up in. You know. This was the road in a partner. This was the road in you know. This is the condition of the road, you know. This is the where it have all the... There's the high road, you know the high road where it have all the... Um, Stephen K, this place up there, Sokai Diesel. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, they're ready for me. All my teeth was like a march pass. Everybody was fighting for front. <laughs> Good one, you love that, yeah? <laughs> I call her. This is to make you laugh today. Take it down a little bit now. You're in a good mood. But let me show you. Let me show you. Everybody used to laugh at me when I put on my shirt and tie. Watch your boy, you see? I tell her one day, I know how to be great. I tell my grandmother again. I guess, say, Ma, I want a shirt and tie to go to church. She say, a shirt and tie. You can't wear a jersey. I say, Ma, I want a shirt and tie. Buy a shirt and tie for me. I look my shirt. I wear that shirt a hundred times. I call her. Hey, Ian. Good night. You come from far, boy. What? You come from far. Look where it is now on TV. From far. You know, the board Yes, house. yes. Yeah, this. Yeah, go ahead. You ever, you ever found the whereabouts of Andy OJ? Andy? Who Andy OJ is that boy? You posted him up about three weeks ago. Andy OJ. I posted him up the yeah. interest? Yeah, you, you, you posted him up yeah, recently, about three weeks, three weeks to four weeks ago. Andy OJ. Oh. Post him back up. Post him back up. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't nothing about that. Okay. I'll go on. Thanks again. Get it from me, please. And that's Angie Oger, Viking Cruise Lines. That was he, yeah. Oh. Somebody was looking for him. And his family get in contact with me, but they're saying that we can't get to talk to him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Daddy fella. I think Attorney Om Lala was trying to reach him. Attorney Om Lala was trying to reach him. Yeah, that's the guy. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Chime. Bring, bring back, bring back my picture. Yeah, hi, caller. Good evening. I just want to bring to your attention that um, pension or zinc. Some of them not collect in the morning. Then yeah, in the morning. Okay, no problem. Remember, you remember, okay, right now pensioners collecting their yeah, checks and whatnot, so it have a little couple of days lapse, so just bear with them. They will get it. Okay? Might be a, a check, a, check by, fr by Friday and Monday. So, caller, I just want you to know, let me tell you something, start to dress the part. I mightn't feel the part, I mightn't feel successful, but it looks as su successful. When you come to work, look nice dress properly you might have old clothes dress dressed dress look nice start to position yourself you see that little picture there you see that picture there with that shirt and tie i always tell my grandma I say ma i will have a job she and not tell me she say you're not no bright fella to get no bank work well no bank work is a big thing then but nevertheless nevertheless i'm just telling you from small I know I was destined for greatness. From small, from small. Like I still stand like that. Am I right? I still stand like that. Hi, caller. Good evening. I can remember that pants. Good, good, good night, Mr. Allen. Good night. Um, you, look so, you look so handsome as a little youth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Allen, um, Mr. Allen what, what I want to say, what do you think about this 100 men, this 100 defense force men to have you pulled? Come I back to me. Let's get down to business. Huh? I say supposed to be a, I say supposed to be a thousand and a limited state of emergency and with that we could solve this crime thing and, and Where you live and in you Where you live in? I that's I Where you live in? I I live in on the old road and I go to the road. And uh -huh. I as a senior citizen, the city program from city start, you supposed to have an input into that. An input. I, say I do. So. I do Thank you. Thank you. I do, but and I in that indirect way, but nevertheless, as I said, okay a hundred but still, 
You don't need to bring them out. You just need a hand, a hand a special unit. That's all, you know. I call, if I call Gary now and ask him, you're a great man. If I call Gary now and ask him, Gary? The God call. Gary, you're going to start talking. You know? <laughs> that man going to start talking and talk. Okay? Let me take a fast, a, a fast, a fast break. This break is brought to you courtesy. Courtesy. SNS Passade, remember they in Freeport. Go support them. ABC Barton Doors. Look at the caliber advertisers. ABC Barton Doors. They are sink, mirrors, vanity. I bought a nice jacuzzi from them. You know that? Years ago. Yeah? Bright ideas, great lights. They have real and they have 75% of selected items. Tell them I want to do a live by them. Rhythm of India. Yeah. Make sure. The Grand Bazaar, South Haven Plaza, DB, great clothes, right? So let our people focus on these, on these advertisers like Fab and, and Rhythm of India and, um, and Bright Ideas and, SN, and ABC Barton Doors. Start posting these ads five by five with descriptions every day now. Give them a booster, right, on all our platforms so they can make more money. Total two one-stop station. Remember, if you're looking for good tools, pressure washers, jackhammers, and everything. Total tool. Let me tell you something. I know some of you might say, well, I have big head on your brands. But you have head on your money. I just want to ask you, you have head on your money. If you don't have head on your money, buy something that could suit your pocket, that could work, that when you're ready to move up, you can move up. But let me tell you something. Yeah, total tools. A lot of the big contractors, contractors I know, I've seen... You know, work, do work for me. I have seen them with the total tools and they have no problem with it. And um, then you have, hey, Berberine Plus. Are you die? Hey, this is it here. Yeah, you see this here? You see this Berberine Plus? Are you diabetic or pre diabetic or risk of diabetes? Then you need Berberine Plus by, by RJ, RJ Nutrition. Just by taking two doses a day, keep your blood sugar at bay, keeps your cholesterol level in check. Your immune system strong. Berberine Plus is made with, with, with some big time ingredient. I don't know. I can't remember. What are, are, are Vedic or something with ingredients? Bitter melon, berberine. But what the ashwagandha, boy? What the ashwagandha, boy? Civic, boy? What the ashwagandha? That is the thing, boy. That is the thing. Ashwagandha. And it's available at all Pennywise location leading pharmacies. Distributed by Civic Production and Trading. Number 40, Monroe Road, Konopia. But... Berberine. I wonder if I can tell you berberine to, um, by taking two doses, keep your blood sugar at bay and keep your cholesterol level in check. It's seal. It's seal. Not, huh. Not often in life I get things sealed in my life. I can't remember. Tablet form and then then they have joint aid, right? Joint aid. If you have joint problems and whatnot, yeah, this real good boy. So, watch me, look at it, yeah? Joint aid and berberine. I tell the people, hey, let me, and let me ask you something. You all did, you all did pop up to these things? Pop it up, let me see. Where is that? That is the pop up. Let me see the next pop up again. For the two? I want a next pop up. For, give them a next pop up for this. Yeah. All right, so you can see the quality of pop ups we're doing for your, for, for, for your product. So if, if you're not seeing your product, but do a pop up, pop up and ask, where are you? <laughs> yeah, do a pop up. Where are you? Where are you? I'll put like a, like a glasses like that. Where are you? I can't see your ad. I can't see your ad. All right? So we're going to take out. I like just like to put you in a good mood. Sometimes you just want to smile and relax and just, you know, kind of reinvent yourself. Think about yourself. Think about I want to lose weight. I want to look good. Hey, let me tell you something. I want to tell you something. And this is serious talk. You see that foreign chicken? Stay away from it. That's all I can tell you. A, a lot of restaurants, a lot of people, you know that? Buying this foreign chicken, it's a husky kind of chicken. 
and the chicken big so so when you see a chicken say way that piece of chicken big i don't eat those things you see them chemical chicken i don't eat that and I, I if i tell you something i have started to stay away from processed food so i juice a lot that way my skin look like amazing i use like a like a collagen and and a lot of things a lot of things but stay away from processed food you see that meat thing stay away from that stay away from that and take your berberine. Take your berberine for di diabetes. Diabetes is a real serious thing. Eh? And I know a lot of people look, have a, mm, boy, who are affected by that. And, you know, after one is two, and you see, you never know. You never know what's waiting for you. And I have no giveaways here. Yeah? No giveaways. The people I want to give away the thing. Make sure, and you go to all the pharmacies and whatnot, and you will get it. I don't want to get a giveaway, put me in a real back. And some of people, Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen. Our berberine, our, our, our ashwagandha. Nah, I don't want to give away things. That free thing? No, because it costs any people. If I ask for a thousand bottles, they will send a thousand bottles, but it's unfair because people have a business. And that is why sometimes I tell them flat, they even send for me. All of our advertisers, I don't take things from our advertisers too. If what, they, what they wanted, one of the blowers on them. You know the, blow, the dust blowers? Yeah, we can find dust in the yard and dust on me, this in the car and all kind of thing. And I say, I'm going to call Total Tools. I call Rishi. Total Tools. And I say, hey, I want that. And they send it for me immediately. Here, I want the money. I say, why? Why you want the money? I say, any money. Why you want the money? I say, Rishi. And I call the, I, I call the studio. Work this out in an ad for me. However it costs, work it out in an ad. That's the kind of person I am. Yeah, I don't take advantage of people. We're going to take a fast break. You know what I need to tell you? I need to tell you something about that, that incident with the ATM and the, the security company when we come back. Light up your Diwali with sparkling savings. Get Wax D is 12 for $29.95. Nestle's full cream milk, one liter, buy three, get one free, $39.95. Nestle's carnation milk, four for $19.95. Eve instant coconut milk, five for $19.95. Cream of wheat was $29.95, now $24.95. Red Globe grapes, $19.95 per pound. Chana, four pounds for $19.95. Carl Brand Ghee, 400 grams, now... $69.95. Super Cow Powder Milk, 3 for $19.95. <laughs> Cheap Split Peas Powder, 3 for $19.95. Shop and win one of six fully loaded trolleys packed with goodies from your favorite brands valued at $5,000 each. Spend $300 and over to enter. Find entry boxes at all SNS Passat stores. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro, and Freeport. SNS Passat Supermarket, loyal to local. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Bright Ideas Festival of Discount Sale. Illuminate your home with up to 75% off selected items. Enjoy unbeatable deals. 10 to 30% off ornaments. 30% off selected linens and curtains. 25 to 50% off selected flowers. 25% off lamps, clocks, and mirrors. 25% off as seen on TV items. 50% off paintings. 30% off selected bakeware, dinner sets, and kitchenware. 25 to 50% off religious ornaments. 75% off lights and chandeliers. But hurry, the Festival of Discount Sale is here for a limited the time only. Bright Ideas, located at Point Fortin, Princess Town, Rio Claro, Maribel, or Gulf City Mall, and coming soon to Curep. Bright Ideas, bringing happiness home. Spruce up your home this Diwali with the biggest savings and widest variety around. Only at International Tires, Carpets, and Rugs Limited. PVC face gypsum ceiling tires from $9.95 per piece. Porcelain 24 by 24 floor tires as low as $27.95 per piece. Granite prefab counters reduced to $1,295 per slab. Commercial roll carpet as low as $48 per square yard. Quartz prefab counters from $1,795 per slab. Cushion padded vinyl flooring starting at $69 per square yard. Visit any of their three locations in San Juan, Charlieville, and San Fernando. And now, open on Sundays. You don't want to miss this Diwali. Sale now on at International Tiles, Carpets, and Rugs Limited.
Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Prime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. So ladies and gentlemen, so you know so now you understand that yeah, that that, that double murder. That double murder last night. So you see, you understand what's going on. A man was shot and wounded in Sandy Grandi on Wednesday. The victim has been identified as 44-year-old German um, Pamphili. Pamphil, sorry, a.k.a. Pikachu of Siri Trace Sandy Grandi, around 7 30. Um, Pamphil was reportedly at, at his home when he heard someone calling out to him. We saw a picture on, on the social media posted all over. The police, well, they, they, they circulated it, but we don't know if it's official, huh? if this is the photograph. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Right, we don't know, but come back to me, so we're not too sure. All right, but you know, I'm trying to get the news to you. But, um, but you know, strange enough, yeah? If Pam Phil, right? Pam Phil, who was shot and wounded in Sandy Grandy last night, right? That same farm fell was a suspect in the murder of 42-year-old Karen Thomas, a.k.a. Musa, who was stabbed to death on Market Street on Sandy Grandi on Monday the night. Yeah, he was the same person. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It looking like him, ain't Well, let me make sure I'm blowing that properly, yeah? The one in the white is the one who died, you know? Right. So, Pam Phil was a suspect in the murder of 42-year-old Karen Thomas, a.k.a. Musai, who was stabbed to death in Sandy Grandi on Monday the 9th. So, look, we have it here. He was later released after the officer of DPP indicated that he acted in self-defense. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was walking away and Karen was pursuing him. Right. So Karen was pursuing him and Karen died. And it, but hold on, come back to me. Karen died. Karen, this fella died. Pam Phil, the DPP said, but he acted in self-defense. All right. But they could, they, 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 yeah, well, if the DPP said he acted, they, they can't inquest. But if he said well, he acted in self-defense, but nevertheless, he was wounded last night. So when you hear that Ger, uh, Germain, Pam Phil, a.k.a. Pikachu, was wounded, uh, somebody called him out of his house, that is how this was in connection. If it is in connection, I don't know. I don't know. But nevertheless, his name came up. When the man was stabbed, on it, why would somebody call you out and want to shoot you for just so? No. There's a saying, and you must, I, I, there's, there's a saying, and you must always remember this. The wicked flee when no man pursue them, you know. People has been running when nobody running their dog enough. When you have cocoa in the sun, you're hiding, you're jumpy, you're this, you're that. People ask me, well, how come you all be normal, normal, so on? You just relax all about the place, and of course you have your security, you have security and whatnot, and people watching you and things, but how come? Because I do have cocoa in the sun. I am not a con man. I don't take nobody money. I just sell guns, I just sell drugs, I just sell um cocaine. You understand? Nobody looking for me. We're looking for me more. I doing my job. I I fixing Trinidad. I'm making here I'm making sure it's safe for plenty of people watching. I want to come down here for carnival or you want to come down here for Christmas. You understand? Also so you kinda know what's going on. You follow. That was my grandfather line now. You follow. I hope you follow. A man was chopped during a confrontation at the Port of Spain during hospital on Thursday. Back and in hospital, what just put on the audio?
You know, I'll tell you something, eh? But the bigger picture to that, the bigger, the bigger picture, it's not the chopping, you know. You know what's the bigger picture? The safety of the workers at the hospital. How could a man arm himself with a cutlass in full view? So then a doctor's life could be compromised, a nurse's life could be compromised, a, tro a trolley, uh, 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 the attendants on them, life could be compromised. Where is the security? Well, then you need to hire EBSL. <laughs> because that's a serious thing. Uh, you know? A 63-year-old man was found hanging at his home in Rochelle Road in Barkport on Monday. A 63-year-old man, that's all we know. He was found hanging. Sad, really sad, eh? Really, really sad. The body of a woman was found dead in Port of Spain on Wednesday. Was identified as Joanna King of Duke Street in Port of Spain. Around 5 p.m., residents of the apartment complex detect detected a foul stench emanating from King's apartment. The residents made several attempts to contact her, but she did not respond. Subsequently, contacted the police. They subsequently contacted the police and decomposing body in the apartment. So, 72-year-old Joanna King, right, and um, apartment complex. She's staying at the comp apartment complex. Oh, I love that bright idea. Put it back, let me see. Yeah, you mustn't take it on so fast. Yeah, but nevertheless, you need to check on your elderly. If you have elderly, elder, elderly parents and whatnot. You know who my mind run to, boy? She has dementia. This woman who, who, who missing from the home. Remember the woman who missing from the home? Yeah. Yeah. That woman walk out of her home. People pay, and that is a real serious thing, eh? Yeah. That woman walk out of her home. Um. Joyce Howard, yeah, walked out. She was seen in Curep on the 21st, of nine twenty in the vicinity of Source Doubles, walked out of her home in the, for the elderly in St. Joseph around 2.30 a.m. on the 20th, day, 9, 20, 23. You know, up to now, them can't find a lady. And she walked out of this home. And this home, right, and you ask yourself, how could, how could somebody be paying money? Right? How could somebody be paying money? They have no wire. Look at the side of the house. And this person has dementia, right? Look at the group there, the side of the house. Sir. Watch. When the woman leave, when, when the woman disappear, somebody come and pull a wire. After, they come and pull a wire. You understand? They pull a wire. Watch. You have people staying at this home, right? You have people staying at this home. And you have somebody with dementia who just walked out of the home. How could that be? How? If you have a home, you must have that place secure. And there's another person I'm fully aware who have, who's suffering with Alzheimer's. And there, somewhere in Denver, somebody tell me, some woman, and the husband will take her up every day, and he will go his merry way and leave her in the car and go grocery and go funeral and thing, and leave her sitting down in the car with the air conditioner and thing, and the woman has Alzheimer's. So she could take up herself, walk out, and go wandering somewhere, get knocked down. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. And sometimes, okay, sometimes you might say, not everybody could afford to keep their, their, their relative at home if they, if, they, if they have Alzheimer's and dementia and whatnot. You understand? They can't handle that. They're not trained because they have mortgage to pay. They have this to pay. So you better take the money put her there or put him there let him get the best kill let him be around people or, you know and you have to do that but nevertheless these people did that where is the woman to be found and this is something I want to pick up next week I want to pick up this you know I'm not going to leave there because these people can't find their mother 
They leave the mother in that home. And how she was able to walk out of that home, how she had climbed out of the wall, she walked out through the back here, the back entrance. So she just walked out because there was no, it, it wasn't secured properly. After they come and pull out a piece of wire, and they, 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 they put it. So we have to meet the owners of the home next week to tell me how the lady, how, how the person was able to walk out of the home. This is the home here. So we're trying to get in contact with them, Galaxy or whoever. Get in contact with us, please, because we would like to find out. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a post-mortem has been ordered to confirm the cause of death of a pensioner who was found unresponsive in a drain in Kunupia. The deceased has been identified as Anthony Dial of Ramlal Trace in Kunupia, a 68-year-old. Around 6.15 p.m., Dial was found lying face down in a muddy drain near his home. The emergency has served on notifying Dial was taken to the Chagona District Health Facility where he was pronounced dead on arrival. An autopsy has been ordered, but the police suspect D.L. may have drowned or another, or as no other marks of violence was. You sure it's Kunupia this happened? Somebody send some in for me. That's him there? That's him? Anthony Diala. Okay. Also, ladies and gentlemen, so that's sad. I tell you, as you get older, what do meet you? Do pass you know? And it's like another generation coming up to die. Our parents left, our grandparents left. And while our grandparents left, they left all, all our aunties, our fathers, our mothers. They left our fathers and mothers. Our grandparents left, and then our parents, they got old, and they passed away. Our children, grandparents, who are our parents, well, they died. So now, it's our grandchildren, our children, and now it's us. And now we are walking that road now of age, to advance in age, to pass on. This is something, you know. You start dying the day, the day you start breathing, you know. And we live life. And, and you, 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 you take nothing with you. You take absolutely nothing with you. You make couture. You make bacchanal for land. You fall out for property. You fall out for vehicle. You fall out for deed. You fall out for all this space in our house. But when you die, what you carrying? What you carrying? The richest woman in Trinidad and Tobago passed away recently. Yeah, she has been labeled as the richest woman in Trinidad and Tobago. Very humble woman, Helen Bagwan Singh. But you ask today, what are they carrying? Nothing. But her name will live on. Her name will live on because she helped so much people. They put food on hundreds and thousands of people plate. They employ thousands of people. But your access said, what do you really carry? Nothing. As they say, I be a killer, Jai be a killer. You come with nothing, you leave with nothing. But we make all kind of bacchanal, all kind of bacchanal for this, for that. And that's how it happens. Where, where, where is my grandmother? Where is my grandfather? They left, they gone. Where are my aunt, where are their children? Some have died. Some, some advancing in age. But even though we are young now, we will advance in age also, and we will go up to. It's like a walk, it's a, it's a walk, and that is why everything you do every day, live your life good. Live your life in peace. Don't make bacchanal, don't have hate, don't be bitter. Bitterness brings sick, sickness and all kind of troubles in your life. Eh? Sometimes you have to know how to live your life. And you have to give. Do something constructive with your life. Be remembered for good things. You will die. But the things that you do will live. That people always look at your children behind and say, your father and mother was good people, but your father was a good man. Your father helped me. If I didn't, have a, if I didn't have meet your father, I'd never get a job. I'd never build a house. That is what lives. What we leave behind, our body goes. But we leave a memory 
in the hearts and minds of people of what we did. And that is what, how we live on. So whatever you leave behind is whatever will live on. Some people say, well, that man was a scam. Them sell drugs. That lady was a nasty lady. That lady was a wicked lady. All kind of thing. So however you live your life, as you advance and as you walk on that road to meet as you advance in age, make sure you leave something good behind. Stranger. Wow. And the, and the church service is over now. <laughs> no offering? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we are picking up nothing to Charlene say tomorrow. You saw, any, you saw us sitting here just something grab her. Yeah. A man accidentally shot himself while trying to protect his chickens from hawks in Kunupi on Wednesday. Around 5 p.m., a 52-year-old man was at his home along Warren Road in Kunupia when he heard a commotion in his backyard. When he went to investigate, he observed some hawks flying over his chicken pen. That is the, that is the um, what hawk? That is the black chicken and them? Kobo and them. <laughs> what were you saying, hawk? That is Kobo. Kobo, Kobo. Well, that goes to show Kobo fly high, just come down to drink water too, yeah? So all who rank in today, don't talk Kobo, just come down to. All and Kobo were flying all by the beat, I'm all on the high, high, all by the wire, all kind of thing. Yeah, right, so apparently um, the man in arm himself with his license shot sportsman's rifle and climbed the tree to shoot at the, at the Kobo on them. However, while the process of climbing, one of the branches got caught in the trigger mechanism and it cloud exposed. Shortly after, he, had a, he felt a burning sensation in his abdomen. You see how think it happened? So you climb up with this fire. Oh God, relax now. Relax. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow. Oh, and just to let you know, before we go, last story. Speaking at a media conference early yesterday, Minister of Finance Colin Embert confirmed that the public sector workers who accepted the 4% wage will increase their wage increase will receive their back pay by Christmas as promised. He went on to say that the Public Service Association and Trade Union that represent daily paid workers have not accepted the 4% increase and they do not fall within the definition of the government paying all the workers whose trade unions accepted the 4% by Christmas. The workers that will receive their back pay by Christmas are teachers, prison officers, fire service, police and members of the Defence Force. So if you have a, little, if you have a husband, in these agencies, well, they, you know what to do. It's only who accept it. Teachers, prison officers, fire service, police, and members of the D force accept. Not everybody accept the 4%. Not everybody. All right, but tomorrow I'll run back for that again and let you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. You remember fixing this place? And timing is everything. As you can see, I just depart, I look depart, and I'm ready for them. Okay? Make sure and get your ad up. You pop it up. We're doing the... I, 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 I have graphic artists working right now because all these ads coming in. So you want to get your ad on? We will do it for you once you sign up for three months and you sign a contract. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. What's up here on 294 Thank you again.